Hi, this is a quick recording of how to deal with strange UV mappings. Um, sometimes when you're in Blender, you just can't get the right UV mapping, uh, particularly if you're trying to do something seamless. So in this case, I have some choices. You know, I've, I've gone in here, hit the U key, and I can do a cylinder mapping. I can do a smart unwrap. And as you can see, I'm going to hit the redo. Uh, down below, you can see I've got a, yet another remapping. And so what I did was, and I tried a bunch of things, so ignore these next few steps. I'm hitting the redo key, and if I'm lucky, you can see what I did. And so what I did is um, I go into edit mode for this object. And what I'm going to do is take that bottom ring and expand it and then do a UV map. The problem is, then when you go and undo it, you end up with, um, you know, you're back to where you were, right? Because you undo it. Um, you know, you try to change your shape, and even if you go through the history of undoing, it just doesn't work. So what you can do is you can go in here under this little area here, hit the plus button while you're in object mode, and create uh, what's called a shape key. And then once you've made your basis, um, you can go create a second one. So this is the is also known as blend shapes. Now what we're going to do is in the second one, we're going to do the UV mapping in that. And then once we do that, we don't need it anymore. So here's the trick. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to expand it. Now I can do a, a, a U project from the top view. And that isn't it. Hang on. There we go. So one is project from from view, and one is project from view from bounds, and that's the one I finally settled on. But now I've got a really nice seamless um, UV mapping. The problem is the bell jar no longer looks like a bell jar. It looks like a big umbrella, but that's okay because in the original basis, um, it's fine. Everything's fine, and you'll notice that even in here. It's still got the UV mapping, so when you go to Unity, uh, you know, you've got your right mapping. In this case, it's a spiral shape. I'm playing around with something, but anyways, just so you know, uh, I hope you understood what I did, but it's, um, you can basically stretch out your UVs for a particular viewpoint to make sure all, everything gets UV mapped right from a particular projection. Stretch the heck out of it, change it, whatever you want in the second uh, temporary shape key. And then, of course, once you're done, you know, you don't need this guy anymore. You can delete him. And you have to be in um, object mode in order to make these and delete them. But regardless, I still got my UV map. I no longer have a weird shape. If I tried to come in here and once again do a UV mapping, we're, back, we're screwed again. You know, so once again, if you came from the top, you do the UV mapping, you're not going to get those sides, and they'll be like stretched way wide. So even if I did a project from view, it was of those very edges right there. That's not enough material for those long, those long pieces. Right? You see, it only gets a little tiny bit there, and that's not good enough. So, you know, what you want is to uh, to do something like this. So that's the trick. Use a shape key. Okay, thanks for watching.